I always wanted to write stories that could make the world a better place. A lot of my job is kind of being a translator. The biggest challenge is being concise while also being as accurate as possible. We started reporting on PFAS in 2018, and they are this class of more than 5,000 chemicals that are used to make pots and pans nonstick. They're used in furniture and clothing. A number of studies started coming out linking them to health problems like thyroid disease, cancer, asthma. There's no federal standard for how much PFAS can be in drinking water, for example. The moment that I got involved in the story, the Defense Department was already spending billions of dollars on looking into this and, and cleanup efforts, but I had never heard about it. So I think it was that combination that hit home for me. I was like, there's this massive thing going on. I'm pretty well informed. I don't know about it. I feel like other people need to know about it. And the hope is that, you know, there will be money set aside for this because we know this is an issue not just here in the Pittsburgh region, but all across the country.